This is the XD88. It's an X-ray detector. You connect it to an oscilloscope, put it down on a bench, and you move the X-ray to point directly down on the detector. Okay, now we will shoot an X-ray. This is a Gendex GX770. All right, we just took an exposure at 0.06 seconds, and this is the X-ray display on an oscilloscope. You can see that there's a long preheat time. In fact, that preheat uh, is generating some X-ray, and then here is your actual X-ray exposure, and you can see that's much higher. And if you look at the time, this is 50 milliseconds per division, so that's just a little longer than 50 milliseconds. That is your 0.06 seconds or 60 milliseconds and the height of this is proportional to the x-ray intensity and of course this is time again 50 milliseconds per division okay now we're going to change the exposure time to 100 milliseconds okay so that's a tenth of a second and we'll shoot again okay we just took an exposure at 100 milliseconds and this is the resulting trace. You can see that we still have that issue with the high preheat, or we're getting an actual X-ray exposure during preheat, and then here's your actual X-ray time, and you can see that that's just about 100 milliseconds. I prefer the PC-based oscilloscope using it with the XD88, the X-ray detector, because you can actually file and save your waveforms and documentation uh, so you can see how much an x-ray changes over time and you could actually show it to somebody else if you wanted to talk about different x-ray issues. Uh, this is a very good tool for diagnosing what's going on with an x-ray. In fact this shows a slight problem, uh, th the problem with x-ray exposure during preheat, but that is characteristics of these Gendex machines.